Hey, hey, and welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. In this episode, I'm gonna showcase how to troubleshoot ACLs quickly and easily. Now, the most common ACL problem you'll see is something that looks like this. Number of rows removed from this list by security constraints, 20. This is ServiceNow explicitly telling you, hey, you don't have the rights to do this. Now, the problem is it's usually a user having this problem and not you. You can impersonate the user, but that doesn't give you the ability to both experience the issue and effectively troubleshoot the ACLs as an admin. So that's why I go with this two browser setup, one browser for experiencing the issue and one for doing administrative exploration. You have to make sure that they're separate browsers or incognito modes so that SN thinks you're in different browser sessions. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to sustain two separate user experiences. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my experience browser and make sure I'm logged in as an admin. Then I'm gonna pull up my debugging lists and I'm going to debug security rules. That's primed this browser display debug data for ACLs. Now I'll impersonate Rory Fnort, who is complaining that he can't see projects. You'll see ACL logging has already started putting messages at the bottom of our browser. I'm just going to go to the list of projects and we'll see Rory is getting our security constraint error. He cannot see 20 of the projects. Let's scroll down until we start seeing some of the failures. All right, there's our failed ACLs. Each message tells you exactly what ACL is being evaluated. In this case, it's a record level ACL on the PM project table evaluating read. We also see the context, which is the specific record trying to be read. Since our list view had 20 records in it and 20 failures, we expect to see the same 20 failures in this list. Now, I'm not interested in these create, write, or delete ACLs. I'm interested in those that say read. You'll see in this one in particular, for IT asset management rollout project, there are two failed ACLs. The checked or X dots tell you how the ACLs passed or failed. The first dot evaluates roles, and we could say in the first ACL that role has failed. The second dot shows the condition ACL results, and in the second ACL, both the role and condition have passed, whereas in the first ACL, the role has failed, so the condition evaluate didn't even bother. And the last dot shows us if the script of the ACL has failed. These ACLs have failed first because one failed the role evaluation, the second ACL failed because it failed the script evaluation. This is where hyperlinks and an admin browser save you time and energy. I just right click and copy the hyperlink. Then I go to my admin browser and paste it in. Now I have the complete ACL at my fingertips. I'm gonna go over again, right click and copy the second ACL open up a second tab on my admin browser and paste in the ACL. Since one browser has me as the admin, I can now effectively troubleshoot all the components of the ACLs for whatever ACLs have failed. And there you have it. With one browser to start debugging and impersonate the user and another browser acting as admin to read the ACL records, you can get to the root of ACL problems quickly and easily. Also, don't forget to go back to your experience browser and stop debugging. You'll have to log in as an admin for that. I'm gonna unimpersonate. So now I'm in my experience browser as an admin, and I'm gonna to go to stop debugging. As always, friends, tons of incoming content for admins, devs, architects, and product owners, so be sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon so you don't get left behind. Leave us a like, share, and a comment for good karma. And lastly, if you wanna supercharge your ServiceNow work and build like you mean it, check out my channel sponsor, Ground Shark Coffee. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching.